Yeah. Right on the Mississippi River. That's right on the Mississippi River. Not sure if this is a human bone. Today, my friends and I are going in the Mississippi River to see what we can find. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another brand new video of Depths of History. As you can see, I'm at the Mississippi River and it is dry. Uh, there's been a huge, huge exposure on the side of this river and my friend Riley Bryant from the channel Civil War on Earth invited me out here to do some searching alongside of the riverbanks to see what we can find. If you guys are enjoying videos like this, don't forget to press the like button and also be sure to subscribe, but we're gonna get down the river and hopefully find some really cool things. These are my friends Isaac and Riley and they've both come out here to see what they can find. Riley, you've already been on the side of the Mississippi yep. River and found a ton of cool stuff. Tell the viewers a little yeah. bit about what you found. So I found a bunch of broken bottles, some whole bottles, some Civil War artifacts, um, one uh, Civil War cartridge box plate that actually uh, made national headlines. Um, wow. A bunch of coins, buttons, all kinds of stuff. So, and I've just scratched the surface of this place, so there should be a lot more. <laughs> Yo, look, somebody's cleaning the windows. Can you see that? Yeah, I can. Look, cleaning someone's cleaning the windows up there on the pyramid. That's the Bass Pro Shops it's like, pyramid. It's gotta be like 400 feet. I know, that's scary, man. I hope he doesn't like fall. <laughs> that's gotta be a scary job. Hey, if you're up there and you're watching the video, leave us a comment down below and tell us how it was. All right, we're over by these bridge pillars, as you can see, and they're really dilapidated. And over time, you know, the river has worn away at the sides of this. And I can already see these are bricks, but they are, um, they're handmade bricks. So that means this is a very old area. You can already see just metal laying everywhere. I mean, there's pieces of iron, there's just pieces of porcelain, pieces of brick, pieces of bottles everywhere. It's really amazing to see. Hey guys, I just got a really cool find. I don't know if you can see it. It says Memphis, Tennessee right there. It's the bottom of a straight side Coca-Cola bottle. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you can see the Coca-Cola logo right there, but that is pretty interesting. James W. Ew, Dupai, St. Louis. Look. Huh. That's cool. It's literally nothing but iron. Yep. Check this out. Just got a first find eyeballing. No! It's, it's metal. It's not metal. It's Definitely, I'm not sure if that's old or not, but it's pretty cool. It's definitely not metal. Oh, yeah, it's though. like it's Bakelite. Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, it's blue Bakelite. So how old is that? Probably 1930s, 20s. That's pretty cool. That's a good way to start the day. Like, look at this right here. You see that? What's that? Right there? I don't know. That looks like grass. It is. It's a little piece of jewelry or something. It's kind of a little piece of jewelry. Got a little chain on it. I don't know what it is though. That's pretty neat. It's old. So you can see how over time the river has just washed a lot of this stuff away. I really enjoy coming out to these locations and searching this spot especially because I mean it's the Mississippi River, it's super dry and there's a lot of things to be discovered so with that said let's get back to it and see what we can find. Well I'm getting up towards the bridge section over there and just found somebody's shoe. Somebody lost their shoe. It's never a good day. Look guys right here. Oh, it's broken. That would have been beautiful. Right next to a piece of pottery right here. Wow. It's about the driest fish you'll find on the Mississippi River. My buddies are down that way. They're finding a lot of cool stuff. So I was just walking down here and I noticed that these bricks have writing on them. I'm not sure if you can tell. So we've been continuing on the Mississippi River. Haven't found too much. A couple of broken bottle pieces and other pieces of pottery. I'm planning on going back to the truck right now, going to get my shoes and my metal detector, and we're gonna metal detect the side of this bank to see what else we can find. Grace just found this beautiful porcelain button, as you can see. I just got the metal detector out, so we're gonna see what we can find now, but there's so much glass, so much brick, and so much history out here. It's insane. And if you guys can take a look, 
I'm not sure if this is a human bone or if it's an animal bone. If you guys have any input to give, definitely let us know down in the comments section below, but I am not sure about that. So that's, that's a little bit freaky. We're down here right by the river, right next to a bridge, and there's this bone right here. We found sketchier things on the sides of bridges before. We found guns, we found knives, we found all sorts of stuff. And we're getting right up to the highway bridge now, so. Silver thimble. Oh my gosh, that is so neat. And you can tell it's really old because it's missing the top of it, which would have been made out of lead. Usually the lead top ones date pre-Civil War, so that could be like an 1850s thimble. That is an awesome find, Isaac. Congratulations. That's man. an awesome find. Thanks, yeah. man. Heck yeah. Right on the Mississippi River. That's right on the Mississippi River. Right when it's down. Have you found any like pottery pieces or anything like that? I found oh, like yeah. tons of pieces of bottles. I got like, like two that. pieces of feathered edge pottery, a piece nice. of a teapot, some other cool stuff. Very cool. Oh my gosh, it's a can. It's a beautiful, beautiful can. Actually, no, it's not. It's a piece of iron. Some sort of rusted old piece of iron. Are you serious? It's still in there? Golly. That had to have gotten it. If it's a plate, Britain's taking a swim. It is brass. Isn't it? It is, yeah. Wow, that's a genuine piece of crap. It's got absolutely <laughs> nothing on it. <laughs> Was that make it more rare or something? Yeah. <laughs> you know what they say, those you know, in the scrap you know yard. They, they, they say hang around people that'll not make you feel like scrap. Wonder, it makes you wonder if the whole car's in here. Ooh, I don't know. They have to get the sonar out. They were making the highway up here and then they just said, nah, never mind. <laughs> Check it out, it just ends. Could you imagine if someone just took the wrong turn? Oh no! <laughs> Sounds like something pretty good right here. Oh no, 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 no! My machine! Don't get it! <laughs> uh, anyways, it starts rolling away. It's brass. It does, it looks really old. We're gonna have to clean that up and see. We got a Coke bottle. Oh no, it's broken. Well, that's really cool. Oh man, it's got a date of 1918 on it. 1918, right there. All right, Riley says he's got a coin. It's a suspender clip right there. Suspender Where'd you get clip. the coin? Where's the coin? See it right there. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Here's nice a clay marble. Eye. No, wait, that's some kind of other thing. You get that coin. Oh, that's a fishing weight, possibly. It's just one, it's got one hole. Uh, get that coin. It's probably a wheat penny, but about to find out. Yep, it's a wheat penny. Wheat penny? Yep. Can I see it? Yeah, right there on that side. Nice. It's kind of cool. It's probably from the 30s or 40s. Good find, man. I don't think any of that was good, but I found a whole bottle. That's awesome. Look at that, Grace. Grace just found a whole bottle. That is amazing. That is nice, Grace. It's probably from the 1950s or something. It's probably cool. not that old. You don't think so? No. And just the fact of how like low the water is, I've never seen it this low in my entire life. Riley, do you have a little bit of information to share on why it's this low? Well, it was a pretty simple answer. We hadn't gotten enough rain in the last three months to fill up a glass of water. <laughs> Look, Grace just found a bottle. Oh, and it's so, that's old, Grace. It's little, it's that's an ink old. bottle, right? Yeah, here, let's see it. That is so cool, Grace. What a find, great job. I know, I'm so excited. That's so exciting. Isn't that your first old bottle too? Yeah, Huh? Utex 43. That's awesome, great find. That is so incredible, Grace. What a cool find, what a find. All right, everybody, we had a great first day searching the side of the banks of the Mississippi River. You guys can see, I mean, it is drained and there is a lot of relics on the side of this river bank. We were able to find some really cool stuff with our metal detectors and just also by eyeballing to see what we can find. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to press that like button and also check out my friends, Isaac and Riley. I will have their channels linked in the description below. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. Good luck and we'll see you guys on the next episode.